Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable incognito mode for Google Chrome for all users on your computer. That way they can't browse privately and uh, hide all their uh, information from you. So this is good if you have kids or if it's a work environment and you don't want them kind of sneaking around. So before, uh, a lot of sites you'll go to, they'll say you need to go to uh, HK Local Machine, Software, uh, Google, and then Policies, and then Google, and then Chrome, and then make this uh, incognito mode availability key or value and set it to one, but that doesn't work all the time because what you need to do, instead of putting it under policies, so you can see there's a Google here and there's Google here. So you want to go to the right under software, go to Google and then Chrome, rather than going down to policies and then Google and then Chrome. Or you could just do it the easy way with this command here, which I'll put in the description. So you just copy this run an administrative command prompt and you can just right click to paste it in press enter it says completed successfully and now if you refresh your registry editor here you'll see it put it there with the value of one so it's just a simpler way to do it or you could do it manually so now if we go into Chrome you can see new incognito window is grayed out so let's log on as a different user. So we're going to log on as the Cindy user, and she is a local administrator as well. So we'll make sure it works for local admins. So we'll go ahead and log her on. Okay, open Chrome. And you can see it's grayed out for her as well, even though she's a local administrator. So, of course, she'd be able to enable it if she knew how to find it in the registry editor and then just delete that key, but most likely she's not going to know that or nobody else is going to know that unless they uh, look it up and find it. So, And, you know, if, it's, if you're doing this for your kids, they're probably not going to know it for sure either. So let me go back into this other account here. Okay, so like I said, once again, I'll put this uh, in the description here. And if you want to delete it, just come to this location in your uh, registry editor and just simply right-click on this and delete it. And if you're having trouble finding it, you could just uh, copy copy this right here and then you know go up to your root here and do edit and find and then paste it in and then it'll you know eventually find it for you and then you could delete it all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe